Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. Join me today on how latch hooking kits are made, proudly made in the US of A in Washington, North Carolina. The process begins with preparing the canvas to be cut to the sizes that match the photo. The roll is fed through a machine and then cut into the correct sizes. For canvas sizes that are odd and the automatic cutter creates waste by not using all of the entire width of the roll, the leftover is hand cut to specific dimensions and they need to do this one at a time. It's now time to prepare the yarn for the kits. The industrial spools are dyed and spun in another location in the United States. It comes to Karen Yarns Factory pre-done, but needs to be processed before it can be used within the kit. The yarn preparation is very similar to our other video on how yarn balls are made. The industrial spools are fed through a machine and the machine lays down the yarn onto the conveyor in a circular rotation. The yarn is now heading to the steamer and causes the yarn strands to expand. Once it's through the steamer, the yarn has expanded and it's still damp. It then needs to head through the dryer before it's ready to be rolled back into a spool. Once out of the dryer, it's now ready to be wound back onto a spool instead of a yarn ball, but it's slightly different this time. The difference on how this is wound versus a yarn ball is the tension. Instead of the winder winding it onto the spool tight, the spool is laying down on its side and rolling the yarn back onto the spool with very little tension. If tension is applied, the yarn will stretch back out to its original format. Notice the difference between the finished roll on the left versus how it started out on the right. It's much thicker. All of the colors of the kit are prepared in advance and are now waiting to be processed further. So many pretty colors and all of this needs to be done in advance before proceeding to the next step. The goal is to get the yarn into cellophane packages just like this. There's still more processing involved. Each strand inside the cellophane is actually one separate spool for each. The picture needs so many colors of each in order to complete. Designers have figured out how many strands in each one are required to make a cellophane package to complete it. Their operator is now preparing the number of spools required for one kit. The strands are bunched together and fed through the frame to bring it all together. In this case, they're needing lots of white. The operator can also mix the colors down the line. Here, the operator is loading blue, but did you notice that she just tied a knot with the ending string of the one that's partially used into the beginning of the full next spool? This prevents the machine from running out of the yarn and the strands counts being wrong at the end. The blue strands are now ready to be bunched together. The operator is now loading the machine. The strands are fed through a machine which measures the length of the entire strand going into the barrel. The operator moves an empty barrel into position, the machine is started. The barrel rotates as well as the machine head to ensure the yarn is not tangling inside the barrel. The machine is now pulling all of the strands from the staging frame into the barrel. For the machine next door, they're already working on white and doing the exact same process. Once complete, the barrel is moved into another staging area. Each barrel represents the set of colors required for one kit. You will see some barrels have mixed strands. The operator must count and verify each strand is present before moving to the next stage of packaging. Once verified, each bunched up strands are fed into one machine to bring them all together. Once started, the machine pulls all bunched strands together, all in unison. The machine forces all of the strands to come together and compresses it into a sausage-like the machine cellophanes all of the strands together and keeps on going. The machine appears to be stopping and starting as it's cutting strands on the other side. 
The packages are each identical with the correct number of strands of each color to complete the picture. The kit is now ready for assembly. The boxes are put together with instructions inside. Operators then put the number of cellophane packages in order to make the complete picture. The next operators carefully fold the canvas. They have backup canvases on the side just in case they fall behind. The next operator sets up the contents inside the box and then shuts it. They then turn the box over. It passes under an automatic glue spray for the next operator. The next operator then carefully applies the label and sets it down the line. The box is then wrapped in cellophane and passes through a heater to shrink the cellophane directly to the box. The kit is now ready to be boxed and sent to the warehouse. And finally, it's now ready for the stores to place their orders and the kit to be shipped to a location near you. Well that's it for today, thanks for joining me on my tour. Now that you know the work involved in making these kits, you'll have better appreciation when you see it on the store shelves. Until next time, I'm Mikey on behalf of the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com.